Like... You know, the Elise is QX6, it's old school, still got a little something something to it. Scott, I'm going to go ahead and mess it around with it. That's called street bass. Now this rezo bass. Now, the deal about this Elisa's QX6 is that you can go in, hit the edit, then it'll take you into what's called the pro sound, then you can change the different tones, like, check it out. That was a studio bass. Slap bass. You know what y'all, let me show y'all something right quick. Now, this is coming from the Akai XR20. And this is some of the preset, preset patterns. And I'm just changing like drum sounds. And when I'm putting together stuff, you know, sometimes if you can just take a little bit of this beat, go ahead and loop it up right quick and then just go ahead and add in what you want. You know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and change this up. You know what? A lot of times when I'm trying to come up with something, I have to listen to it. And then you got to keep listening to it over and over and trying to figure out what can go where, where you can change this and that. And you never know whether or not somebody's gonna like it or whether or not somebody don't. But you know how it goes, you know. Everybody ain't gonna like it, you know what I mean? But anyway. Let me go ahead and change it up. Now the deal about this Kai that I, that I have liked is the fact that you can take, like, each one of these pads, you can take it, I think it goes up to maybe 15 or something like that. You can tune it down, then you can detune it. You can take it, pan it to the left, pan it to the right. Um, I have not had this for a long time, but I know there's a lot to do with it. Now, it ain't no NPC. But you still can do something with it if you know a little bit about programming some stuff. But let me go, let me check something out right quick. 